everyone welcome to the humble servant homestead guys I am out here and what I'm getting ready to show you guys here is my premier one fence that I just got through setting up um, just kind of give you all a quick little overview of what we have going on here so pretty much ran this fence all the way around that perimeter there where we have that nice lush green grass and we will take you over shortly to show you what we're going to be putting inside of this fence here now so i'm just going to kind of give you guys a quick little demonstration of the set setup that i had going on here so this rod right here that you can see inside of the ground that is a eight foot galvanized rod that i pound all the way down in the ground and guys i wanted to get it in a little bit further but guess what man that thing will not move a, it would not budge a bit more so i just left it right there where it is and so right here um, as y'all can see you know i do not have a premier one gate so what i did i went ahead and created my own gate guys and that's something that y'all can also you know take away from as well because those gate right now is running about sixty dollars and the reason why i was not able to get it is because it's on back order it's on back order guys so i was not able to get one so i had to improvise now so i'm just going to kind of show you all real quick what i have going on here now what i went ahead and did um i took two t-posts and pound them in close next to each other and on the other side i did also the same thing all right so this door right here is pretty much like a sliding door and that is it right there and so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna also take you guys on the inside where i have my setup this right here is my hot wire it's not hot right now there's no power going through it i would not be touching that right now guys because i have a 60 mile uh um box on this thing here so i'm not trying to touch that okay and so i have it coming from inside of my shed here and right there and so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead on inside and show you all the setup and also one of the thing is guys that y'all want to make sure you do and that's what i went ahead and did before i put this fence here on up i went ahead and make sure i have a real nice clear path to run the fence because we do not want any um any kind of grass or anything touching on these wire here to ground uh the whole power out guys so i'm going to take you all inside real quick and show you my setup so this right here is my setup i don't know if y'all can see it very well the lighting is a little bit dim in here but like I said, I have a 60 mile um, box here, and that's the setup there, guys. Came inside with my uh, ground. This is my ground wire here that I have on the green, and red is my hot. And so this is my plug right here. So what I did, I went ahead and find the easiest spot, you know, quick plug in, and that's where I decided to place that right there. All right, so we're going to walk outside right now and show you guys what we're going to be putting inside of that fence. All right. Okay, guys, so here is what we're going to be putting inside of this fence over there. Right here we have these white dorper sheep that we are going to be putting inside of the fence. And as y'all can see, this might be a little struggle to catch them. If you just won't give me a time or day but um, I'm going to swing on over here, see if I can catch them on the other side. And also these are some goats here that we have that is soon to be kidding. Uh, they will be staying inside of this paddock here. And everybody just running away from it today. I don't know why. And also later on down I will be bringing these ones here over there as well. They are a little bit easier to handle, a little feed and they will follow me. But there go a better shot right there guys and so those are the babies that I'm going to be putting inside of this paddock over there with the 
Premier One electric fence. White door for sheep, guys. They are just so beautiful. And there they go. There they go. There they go. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go ahead and round them on up and take them on over there so they can go ahead and mow that grass down. I don't know if y'all, well, y'all can see right here where I have them in this small paddock here and. What I'm actually trying to do inside of this paddock right here, guys, is get rid of this uh, grass that is inside of here. And the reason for that is I don't want no grass inside of this particular paddock. And the reason for that is because, as y'all can see, they got their droppings there. I got some droppings right there. Right now, we don't have any kind of parasite. Okay, Rooster, I heard you. We don't have any kind of parasite issue, but with them wanting that grass, they're coming over here and they're picking up from, picking this grass here. And what those parasites do, they go ahead, uh, the barber pole worms, they go up on the, the blade of that grass right there. And we do not want these animals picking this grass here because we don't want them to contract any kind of parasite or anything like that. So that is one of the reasons why I'm gonna go ahead and put them on over there. Uh, don't really have to worry about the goats so much. They don't really come over here picking off the ground because you know I got the little, you know, got another little setup here. Swing you guys on over real quick. Show y'all what we have here. Okay, so this right here is my goat feeder, and a gentleman went ahead and named the goat feeder here the goat feeder 3000. And so this is another. Duplicate from the original goat feeder guys and I'm gonna take y'all over here to well I guess I'll show y'all what I got going on here with the original and I'm telling you guys it works wonders and the reason why I said that is because it saves on food uh, It's not a whole bunch of waste as y'all can see down here on the ground It's just not a whole bunch of waste and I'm gonna show you why that is Okay, if y'all can see right here, I have some utility wire that I put inside of uh, inside of the, the chute, and so I have these uh, posts, uh, wooden posts right here, and so what it is, it makes it real hard when they pull out. They only pull out and get what it is that they need. I'm gonna do a demonstration, so they'll come with their mouth and they'll pull out. Okay, and look at that. See. They only get whatever they pull from out of there, guys, and it works. I'm telling you, um, you know, later on, you know, y'all can go ahead and duplicate this method here. It is a very good method if you have a homestead to go ahead and build something like this right here, guys. All right, and so that's gonna be it right there. I'm gonna, once I get them inside of the paddock, I will bring you guys back and show y'all what they doing to that grass over there. We just got through putting the sheeps on over inside of our Premier One fence. And if you look down there in the far corner, you can see them. And guys, unfortunately, you know, we had to catch them one by one. I did not want to lead these sheeps on out with just food and then they'll take all take off all over the place. But uh, I don't know if you just see that brown one just ran a while ago. What just happened? They've been running the fence line and testing it out. And it just been zapping, zapping the mess out of them, guys. But um, as you can see, they are loving the grass. They are just going through grazing. It's almost as if they don't know what to do. It's, you know, more than enough grass than, more than, enough grass than what they need right now. But... As you can see that big male there. Uh, look like he's trying to test the fence out. I don't know, but uh, let's see if one of them will. Oh, there you go. One just touched it. I don't know if you heard that buzzing noise, but one just touched it, guys. And that is, you know, it's not good that they're getting shocked, but it is good that they are. Yep, there you go. One just got zapped, but uh, <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> what they're feeling but that is how they're gonna go ahead and get used to this fence here guys is by them going ahead testing it out getting zapped so they'll know not to go outside 
of the perimeter of this uh, fence here. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, like I said, I will bring you guys along when I put them inside of the fence. And that is exactly what we went ahead and did. Um, already had a conversation with the young ones to let them know, do not touch the fence. So, you know, hey, if they decide they want to go and test it out and get shot, that's all on them. Oh, there go another one just got hit. So, you know, they, they, they're testing it. They are testing it, but, you know, glad I got them on over. So I'm going to let them go ahead and eat this whole thing down. I'm, I'm thinking whether should I bring the other rest of sheep on over inside of here with them as well. Just to let them go ahead and eat it down. But um, guys, that is it right there. Uh, coming to you from the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. And as always, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Peace and blessings to each <clears throat> and every one of you guys out there. And have a blessed day.